everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's demonstration I'll be showing uh, what seems to be the new summer trend this year which are the milk bath nails and I've had a few questions on how I would do this particular technique and so I thought it would be fun to go ahead and try that. I had a few dried flowers on hand but I didn't want to use them all so I did get a new pack off of AliExpress that's what I was waiting for before I did this demo. And this particular pack has uh, eight different colors of the larger flowers. There's about two to three of the larger flowers per color here, along with their leaves. And over on this side, we have the smaller, uh, tiny, tiny flowers. And there's two colors each in these uh, four compartments here. In addition to the dried flowers, you'll want two other items on hand. Uh, one is the base color, of course. You'll need something that gives you that milk look, so a white, an off-white, maybe even a, the palest pink, you know, whatever your color preference is. And if your color choice is opaque, then you want to have a clear gel, a top coat, or whatever clear gel is your preference. This will be used to mix in with your opaque color choice and that will give us the translucency uh, for a more realistic kind of milky look that we're going for. And I also thought it would be fun for the very first time not to actually practice anything uh, before I do the demonstration. So I didn't practice or experiment. This will be the very first time that I've done these. So hopefully we'll get some uh, good results if not interesting results. Uh, for this technique. So with no further delay, we'll go ahead and get started with our milk bath nails. All right, so to get started, I've taken the dried flowers and I've placed some pieces here on my palette. Just a good mix of the larger and smaller flowers and then some of the green bits there. I just used my cuticle nippers to snip off some of the green pieces off the leaves. Now there's several ways to make your white. If you don't already have a translucent, you can take a white color and mix it with a top coat. You can use a sticky layer top coat or a no wipe top coat. It doesn't matter whatever your preference is. I would do maybe a one to three ratio to kind of get a a uh, more translucent look, but in this case I do have IBD's Buenos Dias Barcelona that I'm going to go ahead and use because it's already a beautiful translucent kind of milky white, which I think will be perfect for this effect. Now there's also several ways to adhere your flowers to your nail. You can use the sticky layer from a top coat or your gel polish. Uh, although with the natural flowers, that might not be um, might not work quite as well. You can use a transfer gel. The Joe Hens transfer gel is terrific for uh, sticking items into. And uh, in this case, I'll be using the Deco Foil Adhesive Pin. This is, I've used this before for other items and I, I think it will work great for this purpose. So I'm gonna start with a clear nail and because I'm using the foil adhesive, I'm gonna put this over a top coat. So if you're doing this on your own nails, if you're doing it on a natural nail, I would definitely use the adhesive over a coated nail rather than directly over your natural nail. And once we cure that, we'll go ahead and apply the adhesive. Now this comes in pin form, and all you have to do is press the tip onto the surface to get the adhesive to flow. And then I'll just spread that evenly across the surface of the nail. I'll show it in time lapse here that uh, this will dry to a crystal clear. Once it gets to that point, it's uh, ready to go ahead and apply your flowers into. Yeah, 
then I'll just randomly place uh, the pieces onto the nail. Overlapping I think will give it a nice uh, look too, but if you are going to overlap, you'll need to go ahead and apply more adhesive over the area that you're going to, to overlap. Once you get your pieces in your desired places, at this point I'm just going to apply an uneven coat of that milky white just to give it more of a realistic, you know, milk bath look. I'm not going to cover the entire nail at this point. I'm going to cure that. I'm going to remove the sticky layer. I'm going to apply a little more adhesive and then I'll place a few more pieces onto the nail to kind of give it a layered look. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply another coat over the nail and cure that. Now you might find with the natural flowers that you do have more of a textured or bumpy feel to it. Um, you can certainly uh, help, help that by applying a more generous layer of top coat over that, but I think that that came out pretty good for a first try. I had a thought that, you know, I'm not, I wasn't too fond of the, of the kind of bumpiness of it. And I have, it seems like a billion of these, of these, um, water decals. And I thought, well, why not use some nail stickers and water decals, uh, to try and achieve the same look. So all you need to do is just trim out whatever flowers you look interesting to you and uh, I've got a little glass container here that I've paste, placed a cotton pad in, moistened it with some water, placed those trimmed out pieces on, and that will help soak the backing so we can slide those decals off. And on my palette there, I've got a couple of the stickers. Again, using the Buenos Dias Barcelona, I'll apply a coat onto the nail. I'm not going to be too terribly concerned about this looking even. Again, we're going trying to go for a realistic look. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to cure that. And because I'm using stickers, you will need to remove the sticky layer. If you don't, your stickers are just going to slip slide around on the nail. So I've removed the sticky layer and placing the stickers in a random pattern, random areas, whatever is appealing to you. And now taking our water sliders, water decals, and placing again those in random areas. Using this method, it's easier to overlap and get your design the, the way you look. You're not having to add extra adhesive or anything like that, which I did like. So once you get your placement the way you like it, in this case, I'm placing another coat of the polish on the nail and then coming into random areas and placing a little more to kind of give it a more milky look. I'm going to cure that. And again, for a more realistic look, layering will help give that effect. So I'm just going to add a few more stickers and a few more decals. And one more coat of our milky color. And that's ready to cure. And add your top coat. And here's our cured nail out of the lamp.
If you want a more subtle look, I think this is probably the way to go. The dried flowers are have a little bit more color to them, a little more saturation to them. It's still a nice look, but you know, I think I prefer the one with the decals, I think. And there's no bumpiness to the one with the decals as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the demonstration. If you have any comments or questions for me, leave them down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. As always, I will also leave links to all the products that I used. Uh, so you'll know where to purchase those. And I really do appreciate everyone stopping by to view the demo. And until next time, I will see you guys later.